Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all all right. So, <laughs> I just thought I would do a quick capture video because I haven't been on in a minute. So, I just thought I would just jump on. Um, I was intending to do this video this morning. But yeah, I just wasn't feeling it. I didn't want to sit and chit chat this morning. I had full intentions of it, um, but I just didn't want to because um, today is my dad's birthday, so it's a raw one. It's sore, um, obviously, you know. Uh, but yeah, it, it just it hasn't been the best of days, so I didn't really want to come on being all um but inside just miserable and mopey i just wasn't in the mood um i've been crying pretty much all day i was it was just not a good time to come on and talk to you guys because i would have just been a blubbering mess i wouldn't have made any sense <laughs> um so yeah i just thought i would come on now and just get this video done and just try and get it up just so you can yeah just know i'm still here and everything's okay um yeah so i just thought to come on now i don't even know what the time is um i think it was about quarter to six last time i looked so like, it's probably around seven o'clock now <laughs> to be honest so i want to get this done in time for love island because i've got to watch it uh let me know down below if you are a love island fan i find it very hard to find my love island buddies now um i feel very alone um i've converted my mom she bloody loves it now this is the first time ever that she's full on watched it um and every night at nine o'clock we ring each other because my mum's rang me every night at nine o'clock for the past four or five years <laughs> um just because she can and uh yeah so we get we both watch love island and then we just have a little chat about it but let me know down below if you are a love island fan and if you are we can be friends for life if not we can still be friends but just get your brownie points um but yeah plus it is thin spiration i think i would never look like that i know i will never have the blooming washboard abs and all that jazz i know this but it's still motivation because of the outfits oh that's so nice i love to wear something similar to that do you know what i mean it just gets the brain it just keeps me a little bit focused um anyway so how have I been? Oh, I've been okay apart from today. Um, I've been alright. Just been, just just getting my head down and just getting on with things. Some days have been difficult and I've just been a bit, you know, but life's life, isn't it? And you just got to make the best choices you possibly can. I am still on the one-to-one -one diet, by the way, in case you think I'm going to change my mind. I did contemplate not doing it. Don't get me wrong, I did. But I haven't. <laughs> so we're all right um yeah we're okay i'm still on it uh, it was just my brain that day was a bit a bitch really um but i'm all right i'm all right um so anyway i, I don't know when i last spoke to you to be honest and i do apologize um i've got pretty rubbish at this um i do plan on getting better and i do plan on being more active on instagram even if i'm not on here a lot i plan on being on instagram every day that's the plan anyway just a little something um i'm going to aim to be on there every day so if you don't follow me on um instagram feel free to do so it is free um i will pop my instagram name just here so you can um go follow me if you want to if you don't you don't that's fine um but i'm aiming to be more active on here as well because you guys have been around for a long time and i'm not just going to desert you um you're stuck with me so i'm going to stick with you and you know you're interested to see where i go i suppose aren't you and what's what the crack is and stuff so i will still keep you posted and updated don't worry um but i'm aiming to be more active on instagram just in case i don't get on here so that you guys can still see i'm um, I'm around i'm still doing what i'm doing you know just so you can get little snippets and see what's what um but i am aiming to come on here more i've just got a lot going on um a lot as you, as you can see like look at the background lot like, some stuff's been chucked in it and out because i haven't had time to 
blooming sort out my flat properly since I moved. Um, there's a lot of stuff here that doesn't need to be here now and we've got to make more space, you know, and organise things a lot better. Uh, as you can see, there's some boxes there. Well, they're not there, they're in there, but they're in my mirror. Um, I had to buy a new wardrobe because I'm on the bus, so I've had to wait until we get that off. I've got stuff going on in the living room. Um, I'm helping my mum sort out her bedroom and kitchen. Uh, me and mum have, between us, ordered a skip at her house. Just because I've got loads of shit that I don't need. Just, I just don't need it. Um, you know, it's just silly things that I've just, I just don't need. And I've got to make space because I've got bits and bobs of my dad's now that I need to store. Um, which is quite some bulky bits. <laughs> I'm going to go into that. Um, that's still an ongoing thing a little bit. But majority of it is safe and sorted now. Um, but yeah, I've got a... I bought a new shelf for some of his bits and bobs. I've got a farm place store other bits and pieces of my dad's um so i'm gonna sort out under my bed and just get rid of what i don't need and get some storage tubs and store some of my dad's things in there apart from the things that have been kept out and the same for my actual bits that I just don't need to because <laughs> i've got to make space basically in a one bedroom flat um so i've been busy and um, so that's going to take up a lot of more time for the next couple of months just to get all sorted and get my mum all sorted um because i want to be done and complete and content for Christmas. Yes, I said it. You know I'm the Christmas bug and I don't care. Bloody love it, always will. It's the best time of year, family, traditions, cozy evenings, Christmas tree lights, prettiness, movies, snacks. Yes, yeah, snacks. But I, I plan to be a lot lower by then, so I plan to enjoy my Christmas. Um, but yeah, I want to all be set up by then because my brain is just mishmashed at the moment. And with an untidy home, you just don't concentrate, do you? You just happy home, happy mind, as my dad always said. Um, yeah, and I'm just not reviving that at the minute, so I need to sort it out. Um, so all I want to do is just sit down, do my diamond paintings and all that jazz, just to take my mind off things because they help me a lot. Um, but I can't chill out in my home at the moment because it's really chaotic and it just triggers my brain like nope <laughs> so yeah that's been a no-go i have ordered i will show you when it's done but it's not going to be done for a while um a diamond painting um of a picture of me and my dad but it has a diamond painting um i can't wait to do that it was from my 30th when we was at my dad's house just before he took me to Harry Potter World for my 30th birthday. He asked me what I wanted to do for my birthday and I said, I want to go to Harry Potter World. So I was buzzing and I love that and I've got those memories to treasure forever that I went to Harry Potter World on my 30th with my dad. Um, that is up on my channel if you want to have a look. Um, there's a video of snippets of going to Harry Potter World and photos, like a video merged of photos on here as well. Somewhere is quite a way down, 35 now. <laughs> So it's a way down, um, but if you want to check it out, feel free to do so. Bloody loved it. We'll treasure those memories. But yeah, I've got that as a diamond painting. So I can't wait to do that, but I've got to finish the one I started first <laughs> because I started doing the Titanic and I've literally just started it um, a couple of months back. So it's only a little bit done. So I need to finish that because it will just go all sticky and unsticky, should I say. Um, it'll just go unsticky and I can't waste it because they're not cheap out there. Really thirsty today. Honestly, so thirsty. Look, these are not enough. <laughs> um, I think this is like my seventh one today. So I don't know how many that is, but I, they hold 650 mil. But I don't know how many that is. My brain's not braining. It never brains, does it? So, <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway. That's a lot of waffling of something you don't even need to know about, do you? <laughs> um, but yeah, I can't remember the last time I spoke to you, yeah. Um, but I did do a reset, I think. I can't remember if I told you or not. I probably didn't, did I? Because I went away, um, sorting out my dad's stuff and others. Um, and we stayed at... Um, Gary's mum and dad's in Tamworth. So we've had to go from Weston to Tamworth 
Tam West to Birmingham, Birmingham to Tam West, Tam West to Western for a couple of weekends. It's just been chaotic. And basically, I came off plan. It was just, it all got to me. I shouldn't have done. Um, but life, life happened. Um, my demons got the better of me, and I did come off plan. Um, and I put on, and then I kind of came back. So I did put on, I think it was two pounds. It could have been worse being me um but i put on two pounds so i did a restart um and i've done my first week restart now um i've done that and i've lost nine pounds so in total since being on the one-to-one -one, i've um lost six it's either six and a half or six and a quarter pound which is fine uh, i know i said a nine pound loss but i'd obviously put on a couple of pounds in there so my start weight you know you get the gist don't you um so basically i've lost six i think it's six and a quarter pound um since i started so that's fine i'm just gonna take it and roll with it um but what i'm gonna do going forward i am still doing the cambridge diet i am still following the one to one still on step one b which is four products a day and two liters or three liters of water when well, i've no idea sugar squash don't do water you know this gross start drinking spit it just makes me feel sick um so yeah two three liters of that four products a day and a bag of pop squares most days that keeps me going in the evening with the violin it's my wind down time i just have a bag of pop crisps a nice bar and just chill to love island with a cup of tea i like the bedtime tea the tetley bedtime tea that is just delicious it's nice and comforting and it's um decaf free decaffeinated you, you know um yeah so yeah that's my little highlight but anyway that is what i'm still doing going forward but what i'm gonna do is i'm not gonna weigh weekly for a month because i'm fixating on the scales a bit too much so tomorrow when i go to my mom's i'm gonna take my scales so she can keep hold of them for me <laughs> um and i'll have them back at the end of the month so the 31st of july will be my waiting um and i will come on and update yeah obviously i'll do videos in between <laughs> i'm not going to disappear um so yeah because i'm just fixating on the numbers too much and i need to just focus on one thing i just need to focus on getting the diet right and sticking to it like a full month i just need to get my head down know i've got my products which i have got but i may i'll do a top up halfway through um just get my head down and just keep my why in there focus on my why and just focus on my four products a day and my water not worry about the numbers not be tempted don't have a sneaky look because it just deheartens me um i don't want to concentrate on the numbers too many different things going on in my head at the moment with everything else and i just don't want to i don't want to jeopardize myself and i don't want to put too much crap in my head if it's not needed so yeah, I'm just going to focus on the diet itself and my why. That is what I'm holding on to. Um, so I'm not going to wait until the 31st of July. I've never done that. So I'm going to literally remove my scales because I am frigging terrible. And I really want to sort that out. So I'm hoping this month just makes me see I don't have to be so with the scales. Um, but then I probably will go back to weekly weightings after that. It's just to get me, get me flowing, get me in the right mindset, you know, just to wipe out reset of the numbers in my brain just constantly being there just clear-headed because <sighs> i know i'm like um and my mum agrees <laughs> she knows how bad i could be um so yeah that's me going forward um and i don't know if louise watches my videos i have mentioned her before um uh, she does the one-to-one -one diet also i have tagged her in a few of my previous videos um but yeah i was messaging her yesterday and she's just She's just a ball of sunshine <laughs> she's just a total ball of sunshine i'm very lucky to have somebody like that in my corner and um, to chat to she's brilliant um yeah so lou if you're watching you are a superstar and i am mega mega proud of you you're a rock star and you're beautiful keep shining bright because you're incredible you don't get you don't get told it enough <laughs> she gets told it every day <laughs> no she's lovely honestly um she's such a lovely person inside and out you know you get your girl crush 
that you think, oh god, that, she looks stunning. Does she look great like that? <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> Aurora. Do you want to get your beak out? <laughs> Hello, Aurora. Hello. Yeah. Let me get down. <laughs> She'll probably go over there now. I want to go out the door. Anyway, yeah, you know, you, you think, oh god, don't she look gorgeous? Oh, look at her nails, ain't they lovely? Oh, look at her, so pretty. Look at her mate, isn't she beautiful? Look at that outfit. Look, you know when you see somebody change, like before your eyes, and you think, oof, amazing. This is her. She's just incredible. Um, she has been one of my biggest motivate motivators since starting this. Um. Yeah, she seen her videos from way back because um, she did it in lockdown. Literally, is the like reason was like, yeah, I want a bit of this diet. She's incredible. Um, so yeah, Lou, if you're watching, love you. Yeah. You're incredible. Um, also, I have spoken to my consultant and let her know. So she knew I had a blip. She knew I had a reset. She knew I lost nine pound, and I've now told her that I want to just wait at the end of the month. Um, she said it's such a, it's a good idea. Sorry, I've got an Aurora hair stuck to my face. I can't get it. Um, she said, yeah, it's a good idea. A lot of people do that. Um, if I feel I want to change to weekly, I will. I can. If I don't, then I don't. Um, but yeah, she's super supportive. Love Rebecca. Honestly, I couldn't ask for a better consultant, really. She's so understanding and she's so easy going and laid back. She's just really nice and chilled and understanding. She's not pressure, pressure, pressure or, you know, no, no, no. She's just... She's understanding, she's compassionate, she gets it, she's lovely, um, never judging, um, always full of advice and help and inspiration, she's just, she's just amazing, um, she's so kind hearted, so lovely spoken, um, really love her, so yeah, she doesn't watch my videos, so I'm alright, <laughs> um, but yeah, I do, I love her, she's great. So if you are thinking doing the one-to-one -one diet I, I recommend looking up Rebecca um, just pop her a message through Instagram to say Vicky sent you um, and she'll help you out she'll know she'll know what the score is to say Vicky simply sent me over um, and she'll just answer any questions you have if you are interested um, like whether it be the costs the products how long you know this that and the other all that jazz she'll answer um, so yeah anyway I think I've waffled on for far too long now it was only meant to be a quick video. But you know what more quick videos are like than that. They're just not quick, are they? <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's me moving forward. As I say, I'm going to try to be more active on here. Um, if it weren't for being so busy, I would be on here a hell of a lot more. Um, but it won't be until I get the flat all sorted, which is going to take a couple of months to do mine and my mum's um, and sort out my dad's stuff. <laughs> It's going to take me a couple of months, um, so just bear with me, I'll get up what I can when I can, um, with a chaotic flat, so you're just going to have to deal with a mess everywhere at the moment, because it's just, it's honestly, it's peeing me off, <laughs> but I can only do what I can do, um, so yeah, but I will do my best to be on here more than I have been. Not saying every day but more than what i have been and i will be back with the end of the month weigh-in roundup as well um but i will try and do some more um, but as i say i will definitely try to be more active at least on instagram so you can see that i am still here and still on plan and whatnot um but yeah i'm gonna do my best to just be more active on both of them as best as i can really um but yeah it's just difficult for these next few months as i say um, and I'm going to go because I'm literally repeating myself like blowing power. Um, I hope you guys understand and I hope, hope you get what I'm saying. I um, hope it makes sense really. Oh, and another note, my hair is getting a lot better. I did have it cut a few weeks back now. Um, so yeah, the ends are looking better. And I have had a few people asking me what products I've been using to try and grow it out. Um, I have I've used quite a few different things, but I have got a few that I would recommend that I think are really good. The first one, absolutely swear by this. If if your hair's really knotty or elast your elasticity is no good, and it's all stretchy, 
or you can't separate you know it's just really hard to comb it's when it's wet and it's just all nasty i highly 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 recommend this it's the palmer's coconut oil leave-in conditioner i've gone through so many bottles of these this is my holy grail hair product i swear by this and it's got proteins in it as well so it's got all the good stuff for your hair you just spray it over and honestly you can brush your hair instantly with a breeze there's no drama just goes through it's so nice and it just smells like summer and coconut it's just it's lovely um it's not super thick um you can't really tell can you it's not like mega thick either i don't know if you can see the drops um so it's not that thick cream it's really nice it's like quite if you're able to see it's like a mist one it's not thick and heavy it's just so nice and it just it's not greasy either it doesn't leave your hair like you know no leaves your hair greasy and horrible this one just it just does it it's just so nice even gary always sniffs my hair when this is it <laughs> it's terrible anyway so yeah that is the holy grail for damaged hair um moisture boost restores dry damage or color treated hair instant softening uh, so instant softness and detangles really does um minimizes frizz styling protectant so yeah you can put this in your hair before you style your hair and it protects your hair as well and it's free of sulfates um you know all, all the all the rubbish stuff that you don't need it's free of um so yeah that's that's that um and then when i wash my hair every other day i do pop this scalp serum in the lee stafford hair growth serum um stimulating scalp serum uh, for healthy scalp environment helping hair grow faster and longer this smells incredible this does smell incredible. It's more like water based, it's not greasy. I don't know if you're able to see. You see, it's not like proper thick and gloopy. Um, but yeah, I use that just in my scalp um, after I have washed my hair so it's towel dried. I always spray the Palmer's coconut oil detangling spray first just to get through my hair because it will not um and then for a hair oil um i swear by this you see how it's like two it's got a lot of oil and then the conditioning mist with it you shake it up to activate it um i have got another bottle of this <laughs> i do keep topped up with this um but yeah it is the herbal essence repair oil mist argan oil and aloe this is incredible again also lights if you've got a thin hair and you know the ones that just weigh your hair down and make it gloopy. Um, this is literally like an oil mist. Or oh, see, so just again, see, it's not really thick and horrible. It's just so nice, and it smells delicious. This is the best hair oil I have found. Um, yeah, you can't really. Well, you can't see it, obviously. It's, it's so nice and it smells incredible also sometimes i use this one um which is a nourishing hair and scalp oil as well by herbal essences but this one is thicker so you have to go steadier with this so this isn't an all the time one this is just a little boost before i wash my hair type thing just to nourish my scalp a bit um and my ends and i'll just leave it and then i'll wash it out um but you can have it as a leave-in depending on your hair type um but yeah still nice and the newest one that i have been using which is on the pricier side um is the l'oreal paris elevive elevive you know um extraordinary oil midnight serum so it's this in the glass bottle i nearly dropped it in the bloody shop didn't i um it's just the midnight treatment so you just pop this on before you go to bed um this is thicker but it's, it doesn't leave your hair greasy or anything it just protects your hair while you sleep can you see the consistency i don't know if you can really it's not like mega thick um but it's not super ready um but yeah it, it just protects your hair and like from like friction um and dryness and it um intense nourishment in one night for dry hair this is really good um i've only been using this about two weeks 
but it is it is quite it is good um but as i say this isn't on the cheap side so i'm not gonna recommend this one too much i've only been using it a couple of weeks but it does seem to be doing some nice things to my hair um compared to before but yeah um but yeah that's a new purchase so that's what i've been doing in my hair um and obviously heat protectant before starting it i don't really use uh hair dryer and hair straightener if i can help it so i did today i did run straighteners through once it was dry just because it was a bit frizzy <laughs> um because my hair just is naturally frizzy anyway but where it's dry and damaged it's worse um but yeah i just thought i'd show you this i've had a few people messaging me asking me what i've been using on my hair not that my hair's great <laughs> but we'll get there um so yeah i just thought i'd share so it's easier just to show just to try and tell and explain anyway i'm gonna go this has been an absolute waffle of a video again are we even shocked no absolutely not absolutely not um but i will be back um yeah as i say feel free to find me over on instagram if you aren't already um and i will be back as and when i can and i'll do my best to not leave it so long thanks for sticking with me i appreciate every single one of you lovely lovely beautiful people so so much um you're incredible you're absolutely all incredible and i do truly love you um so thank you for sticking uh and i'll do my best to be here more often i gotta get this done ain't we so yeah my little mini goal is christmas because come christmas i want to wear a nice christmas outfit and have a nice christmas photo with my mum to keep um i want to treasure that forever um because i always hide away from the camera and i haven't really got many christmas photos or anything with my mum or with my pops um and i don't want to make that mistake again now with my mum so because i always hide away from the camera as best as possible because i look a mess you know i fill up most of the camera screen and it's just embarrassing to look back on i just i hide away i want a nice photo with my mum this year wearing a nice christmas jumper you know our hair looking however you know with glitter and tinsel if we want i don't know i just want a nice christmas photo to treasure i want to be comfortable for the first time at christmas and just be happy um I, pro I won't be at goal by then but i will be hopefully closer to my goal and i'll just be more confident and happy to have a nice photo with my mom and a nice little family one with my mom my brother and gary maybe i would stay with my stepdad but he's got ms so he's in his bed um in the living room he can't really he can't get up and about um i will still take photos with him but i can't get a family one because where the bed is um yeah so yeah i just want a nice photo and i'm gonna be able to keep some nice memories this year um even though i think we're going to his mum and dad's for christmas this year which is gonna be weird for me being away from my mum <laughs> um obviously not having my dad so it's gonna be a weird one but i'm gonna be strong and do my best <laughs> gotta get out of my comfort zone a little bit um but yeah i'll be with my mum the following year gotta take it in turns um it's like that uh, have you ever watched four christmases with Reese Witherspoon literally in my life since a child that is <laughs> it's terrible uh, but I wouldn't change it love it um yeah so that's my goal is to just get as low as possible for Christmas um and then see where I'll go after that but yeah head down stay strong be positive and get it on get it on get on with it let's get it on let's not right i'm gonna go this has nearly been half an hour sorry oh my God. right oh i'm not gonna say any more now because this could just go on for another little tangent about something else but thank you for sticking with me honestly hand on heart it's very much appreciated if you made it this far into the video leave a love heart in the comments because i don't think many people would have stuck around <laughs> don't blame them um yeah leave a leave a love heart down below just so i know you made it this far um i do apologize but yeah thank you for sticking around as i keep saying i love you all very 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 much and i appreciate you honestly hand on heart so thank you and i will see you all in another video hopefully very soon just everything's chaotic at the moment as i said so wish me luck take care be happy stay positive you can smash your goals we'll, we'll get there when we get there guys slow and steady wins the race It'll be done. Love ya.
Oh, oh, oh.